this is a pulse oximeter. It shows the level of oxygen in the blood. And today, the level of oxygen in my blood is unusually low. Almost every day for the last three or four months, I've had a constant 99. And here we have it varying between 98 to 96. And I don't think it's a coincidence that today I feel abnormally tired and listless. I suspect this is because I've been physically training extremely hard and it's been very stressful at work and the combination of the two means that my body is using up a lot more of the oxygen that I'm absorbing. But for me this is an opportunity to find something out. We've all heard of oxygen therapy and there are even bars where you can go at airports where you can inhale oxygen as a form of therapy. I'm going to see if inhaling pure oxygen increases the oxygen in my blood back up to normal levels, normal for me that is, and indeed if there's a feeling of relief associated with this. Now this canister is 99% oxygen and I've just taken about 15 deep breaths with it and as you can see the level of oxygen in my blood has not changed in any shape or form. Oh, We do have an increase there. So that's, that's interesting. The conclusions that we can draw are that oxygen therapy has a small effect on the amount of oxygen in your blood but it looks to me like it would have to be prolonged in order to make a significant difference. Interesting enough there was a feeling of relief and of extra energy just with that small dose of oxygen, 15 breaths but as you can see, as soon as I'm off the oxygen, we're back to these low levels. My conclusions are that the level of oxygen in your blood is more determined by blood factors and bodily factors than it is to do with the amount of oxygen you are inhaling. This is because, of course, our lungs are perfectly calibrated to get the right amount for my atmosphere.